Hey YouTube, it is the Love Cup. As you can tell by my shirt, uh, totally planned, not just that it was on my floor. Uh, Love Cup, Pokemon that are red and pink, 1500 CP. So we are going to go over rankings, we are going to go over the top teams uh, from the past Love Cup that I've used in the past and a couple new teams because Charizard is, let's just go to the rankings because Charizard has jumped up the rankings. There's a lot of this on this list that is the same. Uh, a couple new Pokemon on here. Uh, but for the most part, it's mostly the same, right? Uh, basically, into a few categories. Let's just start with the fire, because Charizard is the biggest bump uh, in fire, because fire is, is one of the best in this. There's fairies in this, so you resist that. Uh, there's bug in this, and Eridos, and Lorantis, and Lorantis, which is grass, you beat that. Charizard is just a wing attack, drain claw, blast burn buff. You have Metachamp, and you can just wing attack and blast burn there, so it's going to be everywhere. The, don't, don't be surprised. It's going to be It's going to be everywhere. Uh, and then there, there are other fires. Meg Cargo is always a always a good one to use because you have the Overheat, which is just like a nuke, and a Rock Tomb, which lowers your opponent's attack. Uh, so a nice combo there. And 10 Town Flame, Blaziken, two other fire type users. Again, fire type users are good because there are a few fairies in this, so you resist that. Uh, a couple Grass and Bugs, so you do well against that. And then in most neutral situations, like Metachamp and Lickitung and stuff like that, you just kind of hang in there. Obviously, uh, let's just go to the water now. Aloma Mola, Pinkfish is going to be everywhere. It's just so, it's it's like the Chansey of this league. I mean, Chansey is in this league, so just watch out for that too. But Chansey, uh, Aloma Mola is so tanky. The waterfalls are going to add up a lot. And having Psychic and Hydro Pump as sort of like, not nukes because it's Aloma Mola, but hard hitting fast moves in general uh, makes it a really tough one. The triple Legacy Sea King, it is water, but it's running Poison Jab, Icy Wind, Drill Run. It's Triple Legacy. Some people will use it if they have it. That's a lot of Elite TMs to use for just these special cups. I don't know. I'm sure you're going to see it a few times, but I'm not too, too worried about it. And then Melodic. Melodic is another strong Pokemon. Um, Aloma Mola Light, I guess. Uh, more, I was going to say more coverage, but it's not more coverage. It's it. You get to the moves faster. Uh, like the surf is, is you don't have to get to like the hydro hope you can surf is much quicker so if you want to spam a bit more it's a bit glassier but if you want to spam more harder hitting uh, melodic is the way to go uh, so there's your water let's go to fighters now because metachamp is number one again it's going to be everywhere it it does well against everything except for fairy even against the flyers you're going to have it's running power punch here so not ice punch so power punch and psychic so it may be bait dependent in a lot of these matchups, but even getting to a psychic is only like eight, what is it, like eight count or something like that. So it's not too bad against most of these things. So you you will do well against almost everything on this list here. Uh, I've got one of the teams in the analysis. So we'll go over it there. And then Scrafty. Scrafty is a little trickier just because you you you, are, you also pick up like a the counter weakness that you get from Metachamp. Uh, a bit more glassy than Metachamp. So it's kind of like a poor man's Metachamp. And you're still weak to the psychic in that, and you're still weak to the flying, right? So it's, it's kind of like a poor man's meta champ if you don't have a XL meta champ. Uh, and then we're gonna just kind of go into I guess there's Lick Licky and Lick a Tongue, uh, both basically used as I think safe swaps. Lick Body Sand Power Whip just absorb the damage. I, I think when I'm using a lot of these, like if I'm using Lick a Tongue, I'm using it. Did I put it on one of my teams? I think so. I'm using it with like two Pokemon that maybe hit a bit harder, so I pair it like Charizard, Lick a Tongue. Um, maybe melodic, just like like just basically like a balanced team with a safe swap, and that's what Lickitung is gonna do. Uh, Sylveon's the only charmer on this list. There are a couple other charmers in this league, so I have used double charm in the past. It, it's a little risky when there's a couple poisons and a couple like a lot of fire now, especially Charizard. So I don't think double uh, charmer will be a huge thing. Note that Sylveon is running quick attack here, so if you do get against a Charizard quick attack, Psy shock may not be terrible you're still gonna lose but it's it's not gonna be as bad as if you just run the charm so what you could do actually i'm just thinking about it. i don't have a team that, like that but you could run something like uh a water like a loma mola sylveon as your safe swap to try and draw out a charizard and then another fairy with actually a charm in the back right so uh like aromatis and stuff like that are in that so uh, if you don't see a Charizard in the lead, you go into Sylveon, they come in with a fire thinking they're going to just wall you, but you have Quick Attack, Psy Shock, which will just add up very quickly. And then you come in a Loma Mola to punish, and then you have your other Charmer in the back. So that's how I'd run 
like a Sylveon team. Um, and, this, and then just kind of the weird ones, Eridos, Poison Sting, Cross Poison, Lunge, just super spammy. Um, again, a lot of fires you got to worry about, but other than that, like you're going to do well in most neutral matchups and it's so spammy. And if you get a boost too, it's, it's, it's really tough to deal with. Uh, Lorantis, again, it's one of those Pokemon where it's like, can I have a lot of play as I put on one of my teams here? Cause you just, it's the hardest answer in this meta to a Lomomola. You're just fear card leaf blades are going to take this out so quickly. One psychic sign take you out. So you are just going to come out with a hundred energy, right? So that's why I think if you're, if you're running a Lomomola, you're probably running like a Charizard too, is my, is my guess, which you're going to see. Uh, Hussaini Electrode, I have it on one of my teams. Um, again, uh, Flyers. So you have the Thundershock and, and Wild Charges for that. Uh, Energy Ball, you have it for your Waters and Rocks and stuff like that. So it's a pretty strong Pokemon, very spammy, as you saw on some of my whatever cup that was, Weather Cup. Uh, very spammy Pokemon. Uh, I think it'll be decent in this meta. And then Lit, oh, I don't know, the Midnight Lincoln Rock. I don't know how to pronounce that. Another counter, I guess I should put that as another counter user. So it's a rock, but it's it's another counter user. It's going to be very glassy, though. Psychic Fang Sonage, I, I played against it before. It's a very, very glassy Pokemon, but could catch people off guard. And the last one, I guess there's two more. Dredgegon, again, if there's so many uh, fires, having a dragon is not bad, right? Because you resist all that. And Dragon Tail is just great in neutral situations. And then Crustle. Crustle will be on, I think, a few teams because if Charizards are going to be everywhere, you're going to smack it down, right? So let's go over three teams in the past that I've used um, fairly well. Uh, so Make Cargo, Metachamp, and Aromatisse. Again, I, I don't think this team super holds up well. So the good news is you you will... You could also use Rock Throw instead of Incinerate. And I, I remember one time a lot of people did that because Make Cargo was on the lead everywhere. Two, so a lot of people switch to rock throw as the fast move because you will beat the mirror match. And you have, um, I run it double nuke here, stone edge overheat. You can run it with rock tomb overheat. Uh, but yeah, you may see it with rock throw because it'll take down Charizards quicker and it'll take down the mirror match much quicker. And the Metachamp's super bulky. And then at the time, I used a charm user. Um, again, I, I think that I think the core here, May Cargo Metachamp, is a solid core to use together uh i'm not sold on Ar aromatis i would plug in a new third there um just run different scenarios as like a safe swap uh speak about balance team town flame electrode uh scrafty so again scrafty is like a pretty high strong counter user in this electrode was a safe swap obviously town flame will resist the 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 fairy right so it's a balance team with the safe swap Electrode was an amazing safe swap in the past. I think, I think uh, Hussein Electrode will probably take this Electrode's place as a safe swap, in my opinion. Uh, and then Talonflame is probably going to be again. Why why run Talonflame when you can run Charizard? Is is my guess. And I've I've got a team coming out. Maybe came out yesterday. Yeah, yesterday afternoon. Go check that out. I used Talonflame and Charizard in the Ultra League. So. That will give you an idea of the pros and cons of Talonflame versus Charizard. And not surprising, Charizard is much better. Speaking about SmackDown, um, SmackDown, Crustle on the lead. And this is basically the same thing, a, a balanced team, right? Uh, you're going to be pretty weak to counter on the front, and SmackDown is going to be resisted. You have a safe swap uh, in general with the Electrode, and then Aerodos in the back, uh, sort of like a, just a balanced team. So this is... If you're looking for like a bounce core, I think I think uh, SmackDown Crustal and because uh, it'll, it'll smack down the the fighters, and as opposed to like your bug, which is going to be pretty weak to fire, right? And then a bounce safe swap. So those are the past teams that I think still have play slightly modified. I did run the PV poke through here, and again, not surprising. This is one of the teams that I think is going to be very strong. Charizard, Alomola, Lickitung, balanced team. Uh, Charizard can be great against everything except for like the Smackdown Pokemon. Uh, the Smackdown Pokemon are generally weak to water. Uh, Make our go. Uh, I, I, we just went over Crustle. It's not weak to, but you're going to win probably the Loma Mola matchup if I just confirm here. Right? As you can just see, yeah, it just covers all the weaknesses down the line. So super balanced. And then you have a Lickitung as a safe swap uh, to try and flip matchups. It doesn't have like super, super hard punishes. Even the fighters like Metachamp will take Super Effective from Lick. Uh, 
so that's how you try flip matchups. It's a very balanced team. Um, you can use. I, I think this pairing's good. I mentioned that like when I use Lickitung, I like to use two harder hitting Pokemon. Charizard definitely fits that bill. There's not. I, I mentioned using um, Melodic instead of a low Momola as a slightly glassier but more harder hitting Pokemon. Uh, and that's the thought process, right? Lickitung is just going to absorb all that energy, uh, try and flip switch, and then your other two Pokemon can just spam hard hitting charge moves, is what I would do there. So if you want to switch Alomola for Melodic, I would not uh, say no to that. And then uh, I started with. I start with Lorances. Yeah, I started with Lorances in this because I just used it in Ultra League, and it's one of those things where it's like it's gonna be super strong, and then it's gonna be super bad too. So, like, there your huge, huge X's with Aloma Mola and Melodic. You are a Grass type Pokemon. You're gonna resist pretty much all the moves, and you get to the Leaf Blades so fast. The problem is you have Ariados and Charizard and Talonflame, which you really basically don't have anything you can throw at them, right? So I put in a Crustal as a hardest answer to that, and then I need a third Pokemon. And then like Metachamp is still sort of an issue. Um, Dredgecon is sort of an issue. Crustle's an issue. And I was like, okay, so I have to basically throw in Metachamp. The problem with this matchup is that you now have like sort of Charizard. It's going to be a bit of an issue. You, sh you lose the Metachamp Laurentis. So how I would play this is I would go, um, I would go Crustle lead. If you don't see a Charizard, I would probably switch in a Metachamp right away. If they have a Fairy, then it's kind of just, you're out of luck. If they don't have a Fairy and they have like a Charizard or Talonflame, stuff like that, you're going to draw that out immediately because they're not going to want their Charizard to potentially be on the Crustle later. And it's a good matchup, right? So you draw that out. You can still counter and Psychic a bunch. Come back in with Crustle to punish that and then hope they don't have a second Fire in the back. And they don't have a second Fire in the back you're probably pretty decent, right? So that, that's how I would play this team out. Uh, lots of Pokemon potential. Um, lots of different team comps. Everyone over like the double fairy, how you can possibly use that. Again, there's some fun Pokemon. If you have like Triple Legacy Sea King, which people could use that. Wormin and Trash is always a good one on here uh, that is used a lot in this meta different Galarian slow bros and stuff like that. So there are a lot of Pokemon that can be used. However, I'm worried that because of the Charizard buff, what you're going to see is a condensed meta around, uh, a kind of very condensed meta around Charizard, Crustle slash Mycar go as an answer to Charizard, and then Metachamp as an answer to that. And it's going to be a, it's going to be a triangle, <laughs> like trifecta that you see in Great League. That is my worry. We will see how it goes. I will play definitely a few teams and I'll, I'll pump those out. Ultra League is also on this week. So if you want to go Ultra League, I still have like another three, four Ultra teams coming your way this week. So you will see a bunch of teams between Love Cup and Ultra League. So we will see how this goes. Um, again, I'm hesitant. I think it's going to be the trifecta plus like... Um, plus a Loma Mola to take out Charizard too, right? That uh, It's going to be those three plus like waters, I think is going to be how this works out. So we will see. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you plan on using. Uh, and appreciate the thumbs up and comments and subscribe if you're new to this channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.